welcome to Kelsey's classroom. Today is a roast-a-thon. If you fail, you're kicked out of class. And I'm not having it. You guys are presenting. This is gonna be this is gonna be tough. Let me tell you, I'm concerned for you guys. But I hope you're ready for the roast-a-thon. Welcome, class. It is Miss Kelsey. And today we're going to be doing the Roastathon, and you guys can submit your songs in chat and we're going to be listen, listening to them and judging them and being mean. You have permission to be mean. We can be mean today. Not for DIY Dungeon, but today. Because today is the Roastathon. Stay with me, class. The, the Roastathon. Yay. I'm scared for you guys. I feel bad we haven't even started yet. We're going to be talking about the songs and roasting you guys. So prepare yourselves. I hope you guys are ready. The first presentation of the day, we have J Freak. You guys have permission to be mean. And I have permission to end the song early if I don't like it. Starting class with What a Fool by Jesus Freak. Prepare yourself. It better be good. We better start off strong. Otherwise, I'll be sad. Mix does not sound great. Sounds a little scratchy. Off the bat. Okay, this makes sense. Hey, can I go puke? Who wants to go puke? You can go puke. Go ahead. We'll continue. I'm like tearing up. This is so funny already. Mm-hmm. Seisha who? Seisha wanna be who? You guys can be kind of sassy in chat. <laughs> okay, well, that was pretty much the end of the song. The mix, it sounded pretty bad. But it makes sense because it was screamo, so that makes sense. But the mix was pretty bad. I wish there was more vocals. Put some more vocals in there. Wasn't the worst thing we've heard, especially with DIY Dungeon, we have heard worse. I'm going to give it, check my notes, I'm going to give it a C-. minus. Jesus Freak is a C-. minus. Could be worse. We've had some pretty bad stuff on here. Put some more vocals in, clean up the mix, and you could be on your way to a B. I don't know. I don't think C's get degrees. They do, but also I don't know. Jesus Freak, you weren't terrible. Do I have any like songs? I'm sorry, did you submit to DIY Dungeon? You guys submitted to DIY Dungeon. And for that, you get to a D minus, not a C minus. RIP, you had a good run. All right, class, up next we have Chewy Lucas. I know who this is. You guys sound like Tame Impala. That's kind of cool. T-Mobile commercial. <laughs> did you hope you see? You guys are so funny. This one's good. I will say, they remind me of Tame Impala. Like this. Reminds me of Tame Impala. Very Tame Impala-esque. But that song was good. I'm not gonna lie. I need something bad. I need to be mean. I need to show you guys I have a mean side. We're not just nice. I'm gonna give Chewy Lucas... I would say a solid... B+. Plus. B+, plus for Chewy Lucas. Good job, friends. Not too bad. <laughs> Flame and Paula. Does class fail if we can't properly roast the song? This one was hard. I don't say class would fail. If the song is good, we can be nice. But I know there's going to be some bad ones, so we can be mean. We don't fail. We're good. You guys are good. We're good, class. Up next, we have Latte Grande. Your grandmother for the album cover is a choice. <laughs> are you scared? I'm You guys are crazy in chat. <laughs> I feel like the vocals need to be more... They don't like flow with the song. We have this a lot with DIY Dungeon where the vocals sound very separated from the instrumentals. And that's what I'm getting. It needs to have more of that airy feel. Because I'm not getting that. It just kind of sounds like it's talked over top of the instruments. Yeah, I just think the vocals need to be like blended in better. I feel like it could be good if you changed the vocals, if you made them more into the song, because it does. It sounds very separated and I'm kind of losing it. I love the instruments and how the backtrack sounds, but I would say just fix the vocals a little bit. I don't really have anything bad to say about this one. It's not terrible, but the vocals just aren't meshing and it's not there, but you have a good start. You guys need to have bad music. I feel like I, I can't roast you guys enough because it's not awful. I give it a C plus. Okay, this is where I'm going to be mean. I probably wouldn't listen to it. But that's okay. 
I feel like it's too easy to make music that sounds decent nowadays. You haven't been here for DIY Dungeon then. It is not that easy. Let me tell you. <laughs> B minus because I like the background. The background was pretty. It's just the vocals I couldn't get into, but I also feel like I've heard that backtrack melody many, many times before. It's a little overdone, and I think that's the meanest I can go for that one. You give a worse score to the Screamo because the mix was so bad. The mix was terrible, and I know some Screamo songs are terrible, but it wasn't good. Fight me. Who is that? You're kicked out of class. Detention. Okay, class. Who's next? Pizza Academy. This is not looking promising. Wait a second. Do we have more double submitters for the f fucking roast? <sighs> Let's see where you are. Where are you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What a shame. What a shame. And I know it's the only time you come here. Do I kick you out of class already? I hope the song is bad. Let's go. I hope it's terrible. See this class? It says Roastathon. Double submitters. Terrible. They have nothing to say in chat. Looks like they're not talking. What a shame. What a shame. Oh my god! Yeah, I really don't like the album cover. It's giving little sceny weeny emo. Yeah, this would be big on Tumblr. Can I come back to class to say this is so good? I don't know, can you, Big Steej? If you say sorry, you can come back. This sounds like every single emo band I've heard from 2012 to 2015. That's who I was thinking of. I'm like, I cannot think of who this sounds like. It sounds like Pictures of Vernon. It really does. I don't like the drums. The symbol is like, I feel like all I can hear right now. That's all I can hear. This sounds identical to some emo band and I cannot think of who it is. Like. I think I even said that when we did them for DIY Dungeon. It sounds exactly like something else. I can't think of who. We gotta be original, you guys. Midwest Emo's getting so stale because everyone sounds like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> old Grey. What Old Grey were you listening to? Old Grey was depressing. Marietta? Maybe a little bit. I cannot think of who they sound like. I have never been raided. Oh my god. <gasps> Hemlock's Virtue? I haven't seen you since like the first stream I did. Thanks for raiding me. Oh my god. I appreciate it. But I'm also scared. Oh no, I've never been raided before. This vocalist needs a cough drop. Oh man. I don't know. The mix. The It's the drums. It's always the drums. It's the cymbal. The cymbal is never mixed well with emo music. Oh no, not this. This is in every fifth wave emo song. This little synthy part, everyone's doing it now. Hmm. This one was not my favorite. It was your stereotypical emo that does not sound good, but is also loved by everyone. It has a lot of listens on this song. The drums. The drums is the problem with a lot of bands. And I don't know what's going on. Like, why aren't we fixing our drums, you guys? Someone in chat said it earlier. Please spend money to have your music mixed well if you want to take things seriously. If you're doing it for fun, cool beans but if you want to do it seriously and you're just kind of tooting around and then you get stuff like this i don't know i feel bad being mean but that's not even that mean you guys are being sassy in chat because i used to love midwest emo i know if i was 17 again i would love this stuff but being older i don't think i like it fix the drums make it sound more like cohesive as one that is another problem we've been hearing is bands just kind of put instruments out into the mix and it doesn't sound like it's blended together at all and that's Semi what I was getting with this, the drums just don't sound great. I've been noticing that with emo lately is a lot of the drums don't sound great. So fix the drums, make it feel more cohesive in the new stuff, and have a better album cover because the album cover is a little questionable. I'm going to give it a C minus. It felt okay. Again, if I was younger and I was still in my Midwest emo phase, it would be better. But there could be some things to be done and you could fix it. Not too bad. Up next class, Doghead. I know this is emo. It looks like we're only going to be getting emo today. Mandatory to be particularly harsh to double S-U-B-M-I-T-E-R-S. You guys, the drums sound so bad. Fix the drums. Every Midwest emo band has bad drums nowadays. I'm tired. This could be good. The vocals work, I will say. It's just the drums are so bad. The guitars sound fine, a little quiet. God, it could be good. Fix the drums, raise the guitars. You guys, 
need to be fixing your drums. I can't say this enough. I'm so tired of hearing bad drums because you guys could have really good songs, but the drums just don't sound good. It's always the cymbal, always. I don't know why that it always sounds not great. <laughs> Someone pointed it out to me a few years ago to always listen to drums, and that's all I hear when I do DIY Dungeon and we listen to stuff like this. Vocals and guitars could be raised a little bit. They sound quiet like he's standing far away and singing into the microphone. Raise that, fix the cymbal, fix the drums. Could be a great song. Yeah. If you get sad that we're being sassy to you, I don't know what to tell you. You were the one who wanted to submit your song. People can say mean things today because it's the roast-a-thon. Respect the roast. Mm-mm, chicken roast. Touche no more. <laughs> God bless. This would be a good song. Have you ever lived Holy with shit, that is so loud. Relic, thanks for subbing. That was so loud. I'm so sorry. I don't know why that was so loud. Uh, I just dropped my pizza. Let's see. Album cover? Pretty basic. You guys have a lot of dogs. I mean, your name is Doghead, so it makes sense. Maybe do a little film photo next time. That That's emo. Little film photo. Would, I would give this song like a solid B, B plus. If the drums were better, raise the guitars, raise the vocals, then it would be better. I'm going to give it a C. C plus. You guys aren't submitting terrible songs. I feel like we only get bad songs for DIY Dungeons, so this is not okay. This one might be, might be the one. Oh no. Okay, class. Are we ready for the next? I think this is it. This is where the rose yeah. comes in. Uh-oh, I'm scared. Oh, they have 2,000 monthly listeners. The drums. The drums are so bad already. I don't like the group. The group vocals are so 2010. We are not doing them anymore. I'm kind of getting that they want to be Paramore very badly, but a groovy Paramore. Oh yeah, the singer kind of has that accent of Haley Williams. <laughs> Paris Snore? Kia commercial! Ooh yeah, Paramore meets Chili Peppers? Mm hmm Yes, very, very Paramore. Stop doing group vocals. We need to stop. Yeah, does this not sound exactly like a Paramore, Paramore song? No, ZBR, I kind of fully agree with that. The vocalist sounds like she wants a solo career and this band's holding her back. That's kind of what I'm getting. The singer has a very powerful voice. Sounds very much so like Haley Williams, which I guess is fine. But also, maybe spice it up a little bit. The drums do not sound great. I did not like the drums. Didn't hate the song. It was groovy. It was kind of fun. But it reminded me way too much of Haley Williams. In a world where there is so much music you have to stand out and sounding exactly like another singer is not going to do too much for someone. Oh, I feel bad being mean. You got to stand out nowadays if you want your music to be heard. Class, I didn't fully hate this song. It just sounded way too much like Paramore and the drums sounded bad. I'm going to give it a B minus. It was a fun song. I'm so tired of people just trying to sound like other people because people are doing it with phoebe bridgers we've talked about it people are doing it with mac demarco they're all just trying to sound like them everyone and their mother right now sounds like phoebe bridgers and it drives me nuts because you could take your voice anywhere and everyone just sounds like phoebe bridgers we gotta do better no truly who knew being mean on the internet was a viable way to success maybe we can do this every stream and then we'll see where I am. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe switch up your cover cover a little bit for the album. It's giving my space. Not necessarily a bad thing, but if I saw this, I probably would not listen to it. I know this person has been on DIY Dungeon. Why do you guys keep double submitting? You guys are lame. Why do I have this as a liked song? Who is this? Are they in chat? Oh yeah, they just followed. <laughs> You're so lame. Okay, we're just gonna try. I don't remember what they sound like. Uh oh. Feeling stuck and hopeless when you're in. Don't like the layered vocals. Get that out of here. Told me Drums sound bad. Ah! Oh man. What was that? I didn't like that noise. That that does not sound good. Yeah, someone said it in chat. Maybe my taste is trash, but I re actually really like this. I, again, would like this if I was probably 17 and angsty, but after hearing many, 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 many songs and listening to Midwest Emo for a good portion of my life, I don't know if this is hidden. I really don't like the layered vocals. I feel like if you just did it one, 
It would work. <laughs> I would like it if I had an underdeveloped brain. Yeah, I think that's why I liked a lot of Midwest emo was because I, I didn't know what good music was. So off-brand Alex G. I wouldn't even say that. That's going pretty far. I'm not vibing with this song. I'm so sorry. It sounds very discombobulated. A lot of it just sounds like it kind of just threw some instruments in there with kind of thing. Yeah, I just feel like the vocals are just too much. Just do one one layer that I don't like that noise. Whatever guitar tone that is. Colonel Macabre. Colonel. I'm gonna give it a D minus. You gotta fix a lot of things. I know you don't have many monthly listeners and that's okay. Maybe you're just doing it for fun. If you're doing it for fun, that's totally okay and cool. But if you want to take it somewhere, I think maybe change a few things here and there. Here you go. I'm sorry. And you get detention. Are there only emos in chat today? Is that all we have? I need something else. We usually get like funny rap that comes into DIY Dungeon. You guys only have 600 monthly listeners. Okay, I guess maybe not a lot of people know you guys then. I guess we'll play a little bit of it, see what people have to say. <laughs> what is wrong with emo in 2024? It sounds like you're singing out of your nose. I don't, I genuinely do not understand why drums and emo music in 2024 sounds so bad. I have heard one singular band that has done it well, who is kind of in this fifth wave emo realm. I don't remember their name. Chuck E. Cheese Band. <laughs> I, don't even know I don't know. The way you're singing during the chorus sounds a lot better than how you're singing this. It sounds like it's coming straight from your nose and I don't like it. I don't, I don't know. Like, that sounds okay. Ish. Guys, what is happening in emo? It didn't sound this bad when I was into it when I was 17 and 18. The fourth wave. Fourth wave of emo is top tier emo. So is the third, I think the third wave. Third or fourth, one of the two. They just did not sound this bad. There's something going on with mixing now where it just sounds super synthetic and everything sounds so fake to where it just doesn't sound good. And I don't know what's happening. Oh, I don't know. The vocals just sound so nasally in this one. I just, I can't get down with it. And just, I don't know. Something about the mixes and emo music is just not great. I don't remember it ever being this bad. I'm so sorry if that's so mean, but I don't know. A lot of it is very derivative now and just not done well. I think it's that and people have so much access to so much stuff nowadays where they just kind of throw anything into their mixes where before I feel like it wasn't, as broad and you didn't have as much technology as we do now so yeah some of it sounds very similar back then but at least the mixes sounded good the mixes for these bands don't sound good i don't know class i don't know i'm giving this one a c minus it was catchy but i didn't enjoy the vocals and the mix just sounded not great i'm sorry arling gun club i liked another one of your songs but that one just that was loud. That one was not my favorite. Thanks for the feedback. Yahoo! Of course. And again, this is very lighthearted. Don't take it too seriously, but maybe change some things for when you guys make new music. I love your album cover though. I will say this is a very strong album cover. Like I remember seeing it when it came out and I was like, this is really good. So good job for the album cover, but maybe change a few things here and there and we'll Yahoo! see. You know, we're doing stuff at home this time around. Maybe change that decision? Unless you guys are great at mixing. But I don't know. I don't know. Not spending 10K on records anymore? You spent $10,000 on this? That is crazy. Our guy's an audio engineer. If he's better than whoever did this album, then maybe you can go with him. <laughs> Mr. Vomit, get out of here with Weezer. <laughs> I don't know if I like that fade in. Yeah, I would say don't do that uh, fade in intro. Just go for it. It's We're just getting a case again of where the vocals sound so separated from the backtrack and just the instrumentals. I wish I like knew all the back end stuff of recording and all of that because I feel like it would give me a better picture of why it sounds that way, but it just sounds so separated and disconnected. Does anyone else get that? Or is it just me? Like, I feel like this could be a cool song, but it sounds so separated and the vocals sound like they're over here 
and then everything else sounds like it's back here. It just sounds far apart. Yeah, I would say raise your vocals. Maybe bring down the backtrack a little bit because it is it's overpowering your vocals and you can't understand what you're saying. We want to hear your voice, you know? I think that's the problem. I know this isn't like on the head a shoegaze song, but that's the problem with shoegaze now is where everyone just... I know shoegaze drowns out your vocals. Vocals don't matter, da da da. But this isn't fully shoegaze. So I feel like you can bring your vocals up because we want to hear it versus the backtrack, which I think is a little too loud. Just like it has a some synthetic feeling to it. Like, I don't know if I like those guitars. Yeah, give me some more bass as well. 2024 is the year of the bass. We have said this time and time again. Yeah, I really want to hear your vocals because they sound pretty from what I can hear, but I feel like it'd be better if I could hear them a little more. Yeah, I feel like with your vocal tone, from what I can hear, would be cool with an elect elect la la an electronic song it could be cool going that direction maybe not so much shoegaze maybe some like fun bedroom poppy type of grunginess maybe add a little bit of that i think that could be cool i don't know if shoegaze would be the right fit for your vocal tones so maybe try that direction the song itself it wasn't my favorite I feel like the album cover could be stronger. I would say maybe change the direction a little bit. Maybe maybe experiment with something else. Raise the vocals, change a few things here and there. We're getting a lot of C's today, class. I'm gonna give you a C minus. Here you go. Not bad. Agree with Kelsey, I'd say experiment with making good music. If I said that, that is not what I meant. I'm so sorry if I said that. If you get a gold star for being brave today because it is very scary doing this. I'm sorry, I've been particularly harsh today. You guys haven't been too bad. I, have you seen Fantano's chat? They're harsh. Up next looks like we have Shoegaze, funeral commercial. Evan, I love you. I don't want to be mean if it's bad. <laughs> no. Okay, just know I still love you, even if this is bad. Okay? Okay. We can take it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, kick up those vocals way higher. I need to hear them. I like how the guitar sounds though. The guitar tone is pretty. The drums don't sound synthetic. This is the first time we have heard not terrible drums. Yeah, like this sounds good. I just can't hear the vocals. Hmm. Hmm. Evan, if you play bass, where's the bass though? I don't hear her. Where is she? Yeah, I don't hear any bass at all. Maybe this much. Dang, I like this one. Yeah, definitely one of the better ones we've heard. Evan, you came through. Bless you. This is the best one we've heard tonight. <laughs> Getting a lot of claps. Okay, class. Are we done? Are we done clapping? Man, Evan, you came through. This was the best one we've heard so far. It was great. Just raise the vocals. And I need a little bit more bass. Yeah! Whoa there, Mr. Vomit. You're gonna have to go on the hallway if you do that again. I think it's great. It sounded really good. I really don't have anything too bad to say about this one, actually. Good job, Evan. I'm proud of you. Um, cover, it goes pretty hard. I like the font. The font is really cool. And the picture's good. Good job. I'm so proud. I need something worth roasting. There hasn't been anything where I'm just like, damn, that is bad. Coffee mugs. Chris, my boy. Chris. Chris. I knew this girl, she was great. Chris. She used to call me real late. Chris. A temper. Chris. I like it, Lionel. You're lying to me right now. A temper. This sounds like it belongs in like Scott Pilgrim or something. It sounds awkward. <laughs> in the nicest way possible, it sounds awkward. Sounds like you're nervous. You're like, I like the girl and she left me. <laughs> you know like bowling for today. soup a little bit. Chris, come here. Chris, come to the front of the class. Come right here. I don't know about this one. You might have to go back, do some more studying a little bit, change some of your answers, and then maybe you can come back. But for now, I'm giving you an F. I'm not saying too many mean things. You just get an F. You're so brave though. You have been on here twice now. You are very brave. <laughs> it's fun. If you enjoy doing it, I'm glad you enjoy doing it. I'm sorry I cheated on the test. It's okay. Just next time, don't cheat. Study a little more. Might be a little bit better. 
I wouldn't say detention. You just gotta study, don't cheat, but you still get an F. Yeah, I have that stuck in my head now. Untempered. Oh, why are you guys? I need something that is not emo. I already know this is emo looking at the cover. The cover is kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. The cover goes hard. Untempered. That's gonna be stuck in my head now. Those vocals sound like they're in my ear. It's crazy. You know, this isn't bad. Yeah, kind of asmr -y. The vocals just sound like he's literally in my ear and just like singing. It's so crispy. It's weird. I don't know if I like that guitar tone. It's not fitting with that acoustic. It, it's not blending. I have a different amp now. Does an amp change the tone? I don't know, Alec. I don't know. It can? Okay. Chris, do you know though? <laughs> do you know? <laughs> you guys, I really don't hate this song. I just don't think those... The acoustic and the electric go together. I feel like the vocals are so personal and it, it's giving a little ASMR. I guess not in a bad way because you would rather hear the vocals than totally not. But maybe just like take her down a little bit. Maybe put her right here and not in my headphones, you know? Get that guitar out of here. That one does not belong in the song. <laughs> the dial-up modem sample. <laughs> A lot of these, I feel like they could be good songs if they just change some things. This one, I didn't like either of those guitars at the end. That shoegazy one didn't really mesh with everything else that was happening. The other one just sounded super tinny and just didn't blend. I feel like if you keep this acoustic, that's what this song is giving me. It sounded cutesy. The vocals were a little bit too in my ear, too ASMR. Maybe tone it down just like this much. I didn't hate the song though. It sounded cute. It could have been cute. Just get rid of shoegaze. We don't need her in this one. I'm feeling a C plus on this one. I also like the album cover or the single cover, I guess. It's cute. It's fun. It's interesting. It's not my spacey, which is good. C plus is fair. Five minute recess. No, I know. I want to hear something so bad. Do I go to DIY Dungeon and just pick something? You guys want to do indie? Say less. We have struck gold. We have struck gold. <laughs> Y'all, we have hit gold. The first bad one. Second bad one. Holy shit, this is bad. <laughs> Maybe we just should go through some DIY dungeon ones, but not talk about the bands. Lionel, are you deaf? Whoa, this sounds so bad. It sounds like I made it, and I'm not good at playing guitar. How this one? This is so bad. What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> just stay out and hang out at recess and just listen to the ones on DIY Dungeon instead. <laughs> Back in In your shadow, cast on white walls. That's the same as that song. What song am I singing? Fuck, I don't know who I'm thinking of. It's the same as some emo song. The same exact instrumental beat and everything with it. It's just not great. The Midwest emo did not fail. That one was just bad. It did not sound good. I don't even like this one. That's saying something, Lionel. This has a lot of plays on Spotify, so this one might not be bad. This is giving like Lizzie McGuire. Oh my god, so Lizzie McGuire. I mean, it sounds great, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm kind of vibing with this one, I kind of like this one. <laughs> yeah, the production sounds great. It's just so giving like Lizzie McGuire, boy band, heartthrob, and it's great. It sounds good. It's great. The lyrics aren't overly cheesy. They're cheesy, but they're not like, I lost my girlfriend and I'm untampered. It's not that. This song hits. I wish this band was here right now. Crybaby, if you were here right now, I would give you an A. Almost plus. You get a 97%. 
One of the best ones we've heard. Good way to end recess. Did you hear the bell? We're back in class. Drama me and you're up. Present. I almost just spit out my water. If Enya was from Nebraska. <laughs> Man, that does not sound good. It is kind of giving Enya. I'm not gonna lie. Class, we have a special guest. He doesn't like it either. He says, uh uh. Chicken, you're the class pet. He's like, okay. Can I take him home for the weekend? Absolutely. He's a handful. He's like having an actual child. This is kind of giving me like church group vibes. <laughs> it is Enya. It's ethereal. It doesn't sound the best. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. There's just something I'm not vibing with. Yeah, I feel like you might like reverb a little bit. I'm just not a huge fan of the song. I'm sorry, Drama Mean. I know you're here right now. Again, don't take it too personally. It was kind of giving me Christian rock Enya vibes. If that's the vibe you're going for, that's totally okay. I just don't think the song was for me. I'm gonna give you a D plus. Please study next time. Maybe if it was down a few steps, maybe a little darker? Maybe. I chose a love song. Thanks all. I didn't hear any of the vocals and the lyrics. So maybe take the reverb down a little bit next time so we can kind of hear the, the lyrics and what you're saying. Ooh, this is kind of a cool album cover. Oh man, I hope this is good. Up next for the roast is Tango Motel. Oh no. And the souls the metronome sounding thing in the background is really distracting. It's all I'm hearing in the song right now. But you've been flying yeah, get rid of that metronome sound and I think you have a good song. Maybe add in something else. Maybe a Glock block. Does anyone know what that is? A Glock block? Miss Kelsey learning jump things. I am trying. <laughs> if you get rid of that metronome, I think you have a great song. It sounds really great. Sorry, the class pet is destructing my house. I don't know. I don't hate this song. I the only thing is the metronome. Get that out of there. Maybe add in some synth. Synth could be fun. Or maybe just completely get rid of it. I think it'd be I think it would work. Love the album cover. The album cover is cute. It works. It fits the vibe. The vocals sound like maybe just a tiny bit flat, a little bit. They sound pretty though. They blend with the song. It makes sense. what it feels like to drink an entire bottle of NyQuil on the beach. Honestly, yeah. That's a good way to put it. Not in a bad way either. Could be brought forward a bit. Maybe a little bit. Maybe get rid of the the metronome and put a, a good bass in there. I know you haven't been here before, but I always say 2024 is the year of the bass. I think that could be fun. Like a nice, a nice little bassy bassy tune could spice up the song it's like cutesy and fun i think that's kind of what it adds to the song but for me i'm just p only paying attention to that and that's all i can hear i give you a b plus go it wasn't bad i kind of like the song it was cute fun metronome out of here bass in vocals up you guys aren't like submitting bad songs you guys don't have bad songs they're on diy dungeon <laughs> which is not good this is shoegaze. This looks like it's just going to be shoegaze. Oh, I wanted there to be a drop right there. That would have been so good. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. It's giving kind of 80s. Yeah, I can't hear the vocals at all. Where are they? It's like kind of moody and gothic, but it's not working. I, everything just sounds like they went and just squished it together and that's all I'm getting is just a bunch of noises in one thing and they're not working. I'm giving this one like a, a D minus. It could be cool. I like kind of the gothic dark direction, but none of it makes sense. It's just all jumbled up. No notes, didn't study, they failed. D minus, not great. Oh no, maybe it's time to finally roast. Are you guys prepared? We don't like EDM. We do not stand EDM here. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. You came to the wrong neighborhood. Yeah, we don't like EDM or ska.
Oh, I needed something heavier than that. It could have gone way heavier. I gotta hide. This is not good. I'm sleeping. I need something heavy. Nothing happened. I don't have much to say. I wasn't a fan. You just get detention. I, you didn't study. This was not great. <sighs> it sounds like music that would play in a Toyota Thon commercial. God, the song hits. I forgot how good that song is. This one looks promising to be roasted. It sounds like I'm in hiding behind a wall. I feel like, what? That sounds weird. Everything sounds so muffled. This could be good if it didn't sound so muffled. It's your old band. Do you guys exist anymore? Two monthly listeners? All right, this is pretty bad. The vocals sound great. What a shame. This could honestly be a banger if you got out of a room and recorded somewhere else. Yeah, why is this mixing sound so bad? I mean, you guys have two monthly listeners, so it makes sense. But damn. It could be cool. Class, can we get a mosh pit in the classroom? I would have given that like a B plus if you could hear this song. I feel like I can't hear it. It could be cool. You guys could have been something instead of two monthly listeners. Keep that in mind. If you're in a new band now, keep that in mind. I like genuinely would give that probably a B plus if I could hear anything and the mixing wasn't so bad. I'm giving you a D because the mixing was absolutely atrocious, but the song could have been cool. My cats are doing stuff behind my green screen. I can't see them and it's freaking me out. I know this is for someone, but this is not for me. Also, yes, someone said it's very commercial. It sounds like a million songs I've heard on TikTok before. This is nothing new, really. I hate being so mean because these people aren't here. The album cover is super cute. Love the album cover, but the song is so TikTokified. It sounds like a million other songs I've heard. The song sounds great though, I will say that. Love a good bass, you can hear the bass. The guitar tone's cute, makes sense. The depression thing is just, I feel like it's such a hot topic. It's kind of always been a hot topic for younger kids. I mean, look at any genre with younger fan bases or younger musicians. Midwest Emo is all about depression. It's all about ex-girlfriends. It's all about sadness. And that's because that's what younger people really feel. And I think that's just why everyone sings about that. But it seems more put into the world because it's on TikTok. Like this song sounds really good. I just have heard it so many times. I'm so bored of the genre at this point. Again, so sorry. Today's the rose session, but I've heard some bajillion times. The 2025 Nissan Outback financing starting at $2,500. I can see it. It sounds great. The production of it is great. I have just heard the song so many times to where it's... <sighs> I'm tired. But if this one wasn't so TikTokified, I'd probably give it like a B plus because it's cute. It's a well, very well produced song. I can't fault anything. You can finally hear the bass in a song, which we haven't heard yet. I'd give it a B plus, but I'm bored. So I'm giving it a B plus and some studying even though they're not here and they're not gonna see this. Try something new, experiment. Do something crazy that you've never done before. I think this might be the last one because I could keep going forever. I read that as Ayo fuck this band and I was like, whoa, what do you have against this tiny little band? <laughs> I have heard this song a million times. It's the same guitar rhythm over and over and over. We need something new in shoegaze. I'm tired. The vocals are still very quiet. I have the basses in this band. You're the bassist? I don't hear you. Why are we drowning out the bassists? I can't ever hear them. We need to show love for bassists. They don't get enough love. I feel bad for bassists. They're always the most shy and they never get any attention. It makes me so sad. I don't know, I feel like it needs to be louder and it's kind of doing that same thing as that hardcore band where it sounds like it's kind of muffled and I'm not I'm not in the room. It sounds like I'm in two rooms over and I can I can barely hear you. It's like it's just a little muffled. 
It has potential. I will say, this one's not too bad. It's giving Linkin Park almost. I heard a little bit of Linkin Park in there. Proxy Driver. I don't know. Diver? It is Proxy Diver, actually? Yeah, I really don't hate the song. Just tweak a few things with the production. You should be fine. It does. It just sounds like I'm in a room or two over. And it's a little muffled. Okay, not too bad. It is a little little new metal. I will say it's like new metal, Linkin Park E, little shoegazy too. It was kind of cool. Make the production a little bit better, and I think you have good music. We need to get in a better recording space. Yahoo! Yeah, I saw you said you record in your friend's garage. Bands need to invest in this if they want to go somewhere with their bands. Because if your music doesn't sound good on streaming, I don't think you can really make it anywhere. Unless, I don't even know if you're modern baseball, because they recorded it in their college dorms, I'm pretty sure. So you kind of have to really make yourself stand out from everyone else, so. My mom said I have to leave now. Please don't forget to record my attendance. Of course, Boring Ghost. Do you have a doctor's note? Where is it? If you don't hate us, check out that song. Okay, no double plug. I'm giving you detention for double plug. I think I might end things there. We did a lot. You guys are so lucky. Oh, this is perfect. Oh my god, I'm literally crying. This <laughs> is so funny. This is such a beach band. I love Sugar Ray. If you don't like Sugar Ray, get the heck out of here. Well, thank you guys for hanging. I appreciate everyone. Thank you guys for all the subs tonight. I appreciate you all. We will definitely have another roasting class session soon. But that was so much fun. I hope you guys also had fun. That was kind of a blast. I had a good time. Get home safe, everyone, from class. Some of you failed, some of you passed. But we did well. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Put your arms around.